This is question number 11 from GS paper 1 of Mains 2022 examination. The political and administrative reorganization of states and territories has been a continuous ongoing process since the mid 19th century. Discuss with examples. See in GS paper 1 this can be a question of modern India or this can be a question of world history. I have answered it from the angle of history of modern India by giving examples of reorganization of states and territories. Now let's see the answer. In mid 19th century in British India, the territory was divided into provinces and three presidencies, Bengal, Bombay and Madras. Hundreds of princely states were also there. By an act of 1858, the political and administrative powers to govern India were transferred from East India Company to British Crown. British organized Indian territories into states and presidencies not only for administrative convenience but also they reorganized the provinces according to their policy of divide and rule. For example, 1905 Bengal was divided on communal lines into two provinces. In 1947, before partition, there were more than 570 princely states and 17 provinces. The reorganization of states and territories after 1947 occurred mainly on basis of language, culture, heritage and disparity in the regional development. On the basis of State Reorganization Act of 1956, states were reorganized on linguistic lines and total 14 states were created. For example, Punjab was enlarged by addition of Patiala and East Punjab States Union Pepsu. Bombay state was enlarged by adding Marathi speaking regions of Madhya Pradesh and Hyderabad state. Mysore state was enlarged by addition of Kannada speaking areas of Madras, Bombay and Hyderabad state. Due to widespread protests demanding separate states for Gujarati and Marathi speaking people, Bombay state was split into Gujarat and Maharashtra on May 1st, 1960. Himachal Pradesh was created with the merger of 30 princely states in 1956 and it was declared a union territory. Himachal got full statehood on 20th January 1971. The Punjab Reorganization Act of 1966 divided the erstwhile Punjab. Haryana was carved out of Punjab as Hindi speaking state. Hill districts of Punjab were merged with Himachal Pradesh. Chandigarh was designated as union territory. Meghalaya was separated as new state by taking Garo, Khasi and Jantia Hill districts from Assam. Sikkim was a protectorate state of India. It was merged with India and given full statehood title in 1975. Arunachal Pradesh was a part of Assam. It was declared Union Territory in 1972 and in 1987 it was given full statehood title. Initially, Mizoram was a district of Assam. In 1972, it was declared Union Territory and raised to statehood in 1987. Goa was liberated from Portuguese by Indian Army in 1961 and was made a Union Territory. On 30th May 1987, it was given statehood title. In year 2000, Three new states were created on the basis of disparity in regional development. These were Chhattisgarh was carved out from eastern Madhya Pradesh. Uttaranchal, now named Uttarakhand, was separated as a state by taking some districts of Uttar Pradesh. Jharkhand was separated as a new state from southern Bihar. Telangana was created a new state in 2014 by taking some northwestern districts of Andhra Pradesh. In August 2019, Jammu and Kashmir state was bifurcated into Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, two separate union territories. Thus we see that the political and administrative reorganization of states and territories 
has been a continuous process since mid 19th century and it will continue in future too depending upon need of the administrative convenience or popular public demand